What do you do when you are in a storm? Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Jota Munene, and we want to discuss certain things about storms that we find ourselves in. I want to look at several storms that are in the Bible, actually three of them, as we consider will be interchanging. There is one that happened to the prophet Jonah, and he was trying to, he was trying to run away from the Lord. Then there is uh, the apostle Paul, who was on his way to Rome to present his case to the governor. And thirdly, there was our Lord Jesus Christ, who was, um, you know, in a boat with his disciples as they were going to the other side of the Lake Gennesaret or Lake uh, Galilee. So we will be looking at, at different ones as we go on in this series. So today we'll be looking at Paul going to Rome. Welcome. When we look at Acts 27, and I'm going to just read a few verses, and then let's see what we can talk about this storm. <clears throat> and I'm reading from the today's English version. A soft wind from the south began to blow, and the men thought that they could carry out their plan. So they pulled up by the anchor and sailed as close as possible along the coast of Crete. I'm going to skip several verses there and just go to verses 18, but you can read all of it in your own time. The violent storm continued, so on the next day they began to throw some of the ship's cargo overboard. And on the following day, they threw part of the ship's equipment overboard. Verse 20. For many days we could not see the sun or the stars, and the wind kept on blowing very hard. We finally gave up all hope of being saved. Verse 22. But now I beg you, take courage. Not one of you will lose his life, only the ship will be lost. Have you ever felt like that in a storm and you cannot see the stars nor the sun? Now the sun gives us light, it gives us warmth, it gives us hope. But the stars are the lighthouse. In those days, stars, they, they were the navigation and, and they knew certain key stars that you'd look at, North Star, this other star, and you knew which direction you're headed. Now you are in a place where you cannot even see where you're headed. Has that ever happened to you? It could be the COVID storm, or it could be another kind of storm that, that you're going through. So what do you do when that is the issue? I think one of the things you can do is reduce your baggage. Because you see, as we read, in that storm we find that this guy is deciding to throw away some of the stuff. They actually threw away some of the food, they threw away some of the equipment on the ship, so that the, the, the ship, or boat really, let's call it ship, it, it was actually big, it, it had over 200 people on it. So they, they, they needed to throw away these things so that they have space. Not only space, but they have enough, the weight is not too much, so that the, 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 hopefully the ship does not sink. Of course, you call upon the Lord, Paul did, but you also throw away stuff. Let me tell you some of the things you may have to throw away. I'm thinking of a business, somebody running a business. You may have to throw away some of the staff, some staff members. Some of the weight may, may have to go. You may have to throw away some of the, uh, you know, luxuries involved in your business or in your personal life. Like you may have to have less sausage and, and, and <laughs> queen cake and those nice things. You may have to let go some of your rental space. Uh, you may, some people are now operating from their car. You may need to let go some of it. Things should not, cannot always remain the same when there is a storm. Sometimes you may have to throw some of the things right into the sea. You may have to do some DIY. You may have to do some things for yourself. You could clean a bit. You could do the tea for yourself. You may have to throw away some of the friends that you cannot manage now. You may have to throw away some partners that are not bringing benefit to you. But as a, as a family, as an individual, you may also throw away certain things like holidays, maybe time, so that the storm can pass. But after the storm, you can pick them again. Let me tell you one more thing that you may want to put away to manage the storm is upcountry visits. 
there, we, we go, we attend too many funerals. Sometimes people attend funerals of people they don't even know their first name. It's the cousin of a brother or a sister of somebody that they used to work with. You may need to reduce some of that unnecessary travel and just be able to manage because storms come and they go. But for now, it may be time to look at what it is that might may have to go into the water just for the boat to stay afloat until we can move on to the next level. May God bless you as you call upon the Lord, as Paul did, but as you also take some practical steps to lighten the weight in your boat. May God bless you. Let's know what you're thinking and send us you know, a comment or a question through the social media platforms uh, down there and uh, share the Sitam Church Online, uh, this video and others, and also uh, comment, subscribe, and share. God bless you.